channel, it's Lauren and baby Ayo. Oh my goodness. And we are back in Wetumpka, Alabama, which is my hometown, and we are spending Thanksgiving week here. Elle is ready to be back already. <laughs> She loves living in the city. Like, I think it's just because of all the windows and having her own space and everything. But welcome to this little weekend vlog. We flew in last night. This morning is actually Thanksgiving. We are about to get ready to go to my mom's house first and see, like, my mom, my stepdad, my brother, my sister-in-law, and then my niece. We're running a little bit behind, and I don't even think I'm going to have time to do my hair. But good morning. Welcome to Alabama. We're taking a break from the city to spend time with our loved ones during the Thanksgiving week. So let's go ahead and get going with the day. I'm going to show you the outfit without the jacket i'll show you the jacket later this is the fit for thanksgiving and i have like a little brown jacket that i'm gonna put on before going down there because it is a little bit chilly ella's coming with us tonight later on to sheridan's house because we're staying the night over there but we're going to go ahead and peace out go to my mom's house i don't know where this life will take me i just know i'm here for the ride Baby, there ain't no sense in waiting Yeah, we don't know if we got the time Oh, I'm just a country girl In a real big world You can catch me on 65 Driving to the mountain top I don't make no stops Yeah, this town was once all that I knew I'll never forget my roots I'm making my candied pecans before we leave first you do egg whites and a little bit of water then you add cinnamon salt and sugar and a little bit of vanilla extract i made these a couple years ago Welcome to such an awkward angle in Will's restroom. I don't know if that made it better or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do my hair because the pecans have to sit there for an hour, like in the oven at 250. So we're going to go ahead and like prep my hair, put some curlers in there, and then also pack for the night since we are staying the night at Will's sister's. I need to like pack L up and everything. We had Thanksgiving at my mom's. It's normally like a smaller thing at my mom's. I had steak and like a bunch of different sides. My brother is like fully gluten-free. So we had some gluten-free snackies, which were really good. So now it's time to get the hair done for Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll end up in the city. Underneath all the flashing lights Maybe I'll be in a new country I also burned myself several times and it hurts really bad. We are on the way to Will's sister's house now for Thanksgiving. We have Elle's stroller and Elle in the back. Howdy then. Ready to go. Ooh, ooh.
Good morning. <laughs> Time to cook some breakfast. Okay, that's bad. Oh, it is. It is. That's not bad. No, He's no, always doing it. Back. Be proud of your best. It looks really good, mm -hmm. Chef Will. Mm -hmm. The apron looks good, Will. Shaden and I are walking into Winn Dixie. It's the Iron Bowl day, and we need to get some game day snacks. How about these buggies find us? Between beginning and the end. Soft focus, cut to us the night we met. Started something, and we're not going back like clay to no match, and it's trying to catch like fall. stole my car and I'm just I don't want to go get it obviously we have the Iron Bowl today which is like a really big rivalry it's Alabama and Auburn like they're two SEC football teams Will is an Auburn boy I am a Bama girl obviously and it's like a really big rival we actually started dating on the Iron Bowl in 2019 so it's always like a fun like rivalry thing that we always do with his family on this day like every single year we literally haven't like missed one Iron Bowl which is a big reason why we also came home for Thanksgiving like football is like such a big thing here but we also have a Christmas carol tonight my friend Mary Catherine invited us. Um, Mary Catherine is like my fairy godmother. I love her and her wife Lane. Lane works at the Alabama Shakespeare Festival so they had two extra tickets to go to the Christmas Carol. So we are going to the Christmas Carol and I'm so excited. It's one of my favorite like performances to see during the holiday season. So I'm going ahead and getting ready before like the game starts or anything. That way like I'm already pretty much ready to go. I just have to put on some clothes. I don't know really what I'm doing with my hair. My hair is not like looking cute. I wanted to give you a little update. We're also like cooking like little appetizers and stuff for tonight. The game, the game's at 2 30 afternoon game but it's not going to end until probably like six and that's like when we have to leave to go to a christmas carol with Will every year. He drives me up the wall. Now we have to find something to wear. Christmas Carol. And I don't really know what to wear. But it's time to grab something really fast because we need to be leaving like right now. Ending the night, Will is running into Walmart for some like snacks that he wants to get. We have finished a Christmas Carol and it was so good. Will has never seen a Christmas Carol like live action, like on stage basically. And he was very, very impressed. Shout out to Mary Catherine and Lane for the ticket. It was so amazing. We haven't seen a show since we went to go see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on Broadway. So this was so, so good. It was like such a great way to end out our night. It's now 9.30 and we're traveling back home. It's gonna take us like 45 minutes to get back home and i think we're going to try and finish up our domino game that we didn't finish up last night as long as everyone is still awake welcome to the next morning right now i am dressed and ready to go to lunch with my mom we're just going to be running down to like a mexican restaurant that's like in our hometown that's like not that far from where we live so we're going to go down there and enjoy some lunch hang out with her for a little bit and then come back and start prepping to get back to new york because we fly out tomorrow i can't even remember when our flight is but i don't think it's like early in the morning or anything i want to say it's like in the afternoon 
You're taking me back. You're taking me back. When the world was smaller and everything was ours, you're taking me back. You're taking me back. When everything moves slower, you're taking me back to better days. Late night drive to our favorite hits, burning through a mixed CD we made. Just a couple kids. It is the last day we're in our hometown. We're packing up to go to the airport to go back home. Baby Elle is ready. She's already purring. You're so excited to be back to your city cat lifestyle. City kitty. She has just been like so, so excited. She's just been like hanging out next to this window. Almost everything is packed up. We woke up at like 10 and we have to leave at like 10.30. It's like 10.15 right now. But we had a really fun time. It was fun to see people for like the short time we were here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be vlogging like through the airport and stuff. We do have a layover in Atlanta, Georgia. I think it's like two and a half hours that we have there, but we're just getting everything set and good to go. So excited to be back into my routine. And I forgot that I had this like little Christmas blanket. <sighs> And now I don't know if I'm gonna have room. I did like a haul. I bought like a bunch of Christmas stuff when I came back here in October and this did not make it. And I'm like, I really want my cute little Christmas blanket, but I don't know if it's gonna be able to fit, but we may just have to like squish it down. But we need to make some coffee and like just get going for the day. Yeah, those were the days. You're taking me back. You're taking me back. Made my coffee, have an ice roller. Hopefully this is going to like deep puff my face. I can like hear it crack. The airport is literally almost three hours away. It's like two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes to be exact. This is literally gonna get me. She smells Chick-fil-A. Will just got it for us. We're waiting on the flight. Win a win a chicken dinner. We are back home from Alabama and it was such a nice break to have just like to be out of the city, enjoy some time with friends and family. Do want to clarify and answer some questions that I get all the time. First off, my mom cannot host us. She does not have space to allow Will and I to stay there. So that is why Will and I stay at Will's mom's house. We could pay for a hotel, but since we have family in Alabama, that's where everyone we know and love is from. It's easier just to stay with Will's mom. Also, if some people are shown more in this video or we seem to be spending 
spending more time with these people. Keep in mind, we were in Alabama just for a few short days. And also I do respect my family's privacy. Not everyone wants to be shown on camera and in front of thousands of people. And I respect that. I want you to respect that as well. I do put my personal life on the internet, but that doesn't mean that they have to. So respecting that and keeping their boundaries in place is very important to me. We wish we could have spent more time with everyone while we were there. This was a very fast trip. We waited last minute to get our flight. So we did not stay as long as we were expecting. We were expecting to be there for a full week and instead we were only there for a few days. We did miss out on some opportunities to hang out with certain family members and friends and we definitely will be making them a priority when we go back in January. I'm sure if you go to like different Thanksgivings or holiday events and all that stuff like you know how difficult it is to kind of gather up everyone and see everyone you want when you're only in town for just a short period of time. But I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed our like little homey cozy little time in Alabama. I always love looking back on vlogs like this and seeing great memories and experiences that we got to have. If you've made it to this part of the video, go ahead and comment down the football emoji. And is there a turkey emoji? Perhaps both of them, if there is a turkey emoji. I want to say there is. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, you can click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much. I'll be seeing you in my next video on Thursday. Bye.